This is a church that I can never forget it. It hurt too much. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. Despite all the hurt, however, there is something else at work at the Emanuel AME Church. I became a Christian when I was 14, and you know, I grew up right here in the South, and uh, I, uh, I hurt with these people. Because this is our sister church, I belong to Shiloh AME Church. I felt compelled to come out here. And the things that divide race, age, religion all seem to vanish here. It's all about those who are martyred for the faith. Amen. And they'll be given white robes in heaven. Amen. They're with the Lord right now. Yes. And they're just jumping up and down. Jumping up and down. <laughs> Avis Williams and Reverend Barry Owens belong to different churches, but both came here, both adding to the growing memorial to the nine shooting victims, cut down by 21-year-old Dylan Roof, who police say has confessed. He reportedly told investigators he hoped to start a race war. I think it was embedded into his brain that black folks are trying to take over the world and my heart goes out to him really. It does. Yeah, um, because he don't know the whole story. He just know what people was saying around him. Really get around and start talking about it. You see, there's not hardly a dry in town. Indeed, our hearts are broken. But the thoughts here seem to be mostly on the victims. Nine white ribbons bearing their names are tied to the church gate. And if the goal was a racial war... Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Paul. I will. Many here say the shooter failed. It is having an opposite effect because it's bringing people more closer than further apart. And I like that. That's how God would want it to happen.